What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So recently I did a live stream updating my 10 overall for life. What would what would that 10 be? And it got me thinking about more subsidiary topics such as clones, which I did recently, and now cheap fragrances. So that's hot topic here on this channel. And just know that of these 10, none of them are going to be of the cheap, more affordable Middle Eastern brands or small clone brands. This is mostly like affordable designers. Um, and this one even surprised myself when I had to whittle it down to 10 because I started looking at it and it's like, well, I kind of like that better. That's kind of a better take on that. And some of these are going to surprise you and some of these won't. So stay tuned. And the main one that won't surprise you that was emitted from the main tin, but I said would indeed be on the cheap tin for life, is Salvatore Ferragamo Aqua Essenziale Blue. As long as this is on the market and still affordable, I can put it in the cheapy list. So this is the fragrance most synonymous with me in this channel. Uh, probably the fragrance I've hyped the most in the past. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's it's kind of the ultimate blue in many ways. It's a little fresh aromatic and powdery, a touch of citrus. Cipriol oil offers a little hint of earthy green feel to it. There's a tonka bean sweetness that adds to that powdery take of the lavender because it comes. it's a little on the powdery side. This is a sweeter blue, but not sweet like your wanted fragrances from Azaro, your one million flankers, like not that kind of sweet. A little bit of tonka bean sweet with some woods, earthy tone, very blue and broxen type of feel. Um, I love this fragrance. Always have. I mean, look, that, that dent's no mistake. You know what I mean? Let me get it to focus. That's, granted, it's a 50 ml bottle, but it's roughly halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway. Yeah, it's a little bit more than halfway down. I do have another 100 ml bottle that's been waiting in the wings. I've had that for a long time. But above average performance, easy eight plus hours in longevity two hours of solid projection not my ideal choice in the summer but the other three seasons when i want a blue this will absolutely work there was a time when i used to wear this to work religiously this is a great fragrance and definitely a lifer when it comes to cheapies it's salvatore ferragamo aqua essenziale blue now i haven't checked for what prices are these days but i did pick this up for 32 dollars at tj maxx a while back this was one of my pickups of the year in 2022, I believe. It was 2021 or 2022. It's been a little while now, but it's kind of like an affordable take on Chanel Alorum Sport. It is Missoni Wave. This is phenomenal. You need to get your nose on this. I haven't been wearing it much lately. Some of these I haven't been wearing much lately because I just have tons of fragrances and always new stuff coming in to test and review, but this is still all that in a bag of chips in my opinion. Fresh, aquatic, floral, sweet woodsy soapy there's so much going on here compliment machine above average performer not quite a b six seven hour range and longevity on my skin solid for an hour and a half decent sillage not real strong sillage but wife loves this fragrance i love this fragrance it is great year round if you want fresh and attractive uh, but shines more in the spring summer early fall Warmer climate, year-round fragrance, like I was saying. You can wear this one at night, absolutely. Falls into the light blue category. Think of Chanel Allure Homme Sport. It's a very, very similar fragrance, kind of essence of Versace Pour Homme, but more Allure Homme Sport. It, it's, it's such a good option. It really is, guys. If you have a chance to get your nose on this one and try it, try it. It might be what's missing from your fragrance wardrobe, but it's a cheapy lifer for me. It's my Sony Wave. In my opinion, this is the ultimate version of Cool Water. I had to get Cool Water Parfum and put it on this list. Sharp lemon, pink pepper, bright aromatic spice, a little bit of sweetness, earthy vetiver. It does smell like a little bit of embroxins in here, though they don't list it. Long lasting without being really loud, like a real parfum, an actual parfum flanker should perform, in my opinion. Heavier wearing experience. We're early on, sure, easy to detect, but has a richness to it because of the oil concentration. So it wears closer and the scent bubble around you is thick and dense and it lasts a really long time. It has a smoothness to it. That is all of this. This is in many ways the perfect parfum flanker. 
It does remind you of the original, but a more serious and refined approach to the original. It has elements of cool water eau de toilette. It doesn't smell exactly like just a high oil concentration of cool water eau de toilette. It's, I would say, like a 40-50% similarity to the original at best. There is a small tie-in, and I think that works well for this because this is a more serious approach, in my opinion. I love this fragrance. I think this is such a good release. I don't know if I'll ever have a new favorite in the cool water line, just being honest with you. I, I just, there, there's a lot of really good ones. There's one I really can't stand. I have a bunch of them at this point, and they're all at least really good for the most part. But this one's great. This one's phenomenal. This one's outstanding. I love this fragrance. It was a no-brainer for me. I knew I wanted to keep something cool water, and <laughs> there was no doubt it was going to be Davidoff Cool Water Parfum. Now, the reason for this one is because... It's easier to find this and it's affordable versus getting new bottles of Invictus Aqua 2018 because my understanding is that's discontinued now. I don't know for certain, but I have seen prices go up and scarcity and inventories and stuff like that. There's a little bit of a trade-off here. Instead of powdery violet, it's soapy lavender. This is Halloween Man Hero, 4.2 ounce bottle. Now, I don't wear it all that much because I still have a lot of Invictus Aqua 2018 left but I really appreciate how well composed and accurate this is. This is like 80%, 85%, maybe about like 85%. Invictus Aqua 2018 specifically, because that's my favorite fragrance. Invictus Aqua 2018. And this has that bubblegum aquatic, sweet, fresh feel. It's more on the soapy aromatic side than the powdery floral side, musky, woodsy. It's performs pretty much the same above average without being a beast easy to like easy to wear great for the heat all of those things puts me in the same kind of mood as Invictus Aqua 2018 it's a happy fragrance type of scent profile I just love this stuff so when it came to whittling down cheapies it's like I'm gonna keep something that smells like Invictus Aqua it's my favorite scent profile might as well go with what I deem to be kind of the air apparent since that's apparently discontinued I would say this is the recommendation for me if you want Invictus Aqua 2018 specifically, this is about as close as it gets. It's Halloween Man Hero. Now, I had to keep a chrome. And this is really hard. This was the most difficult to pick from because I've really been digging the Eau de Parfum. I've really been digging the Intense. The Aqua is always a favorite for me. I really like Pure. The original was even in the running. But my favorite still Extreme. Chrome Extreme is still the best chrome flanker in my opinion. It does smell like an extreme take on chrome. It smells like chrome mixed with Aqua de Jo Profondo. And I'm here for it. I'm all about it. I love it. It's bright, aquatic, metallic, citric. It performs great. In the $50 range, you can get this bottle. If not, get a 50 ml. It's fine. You don't need a lot of sprays. I paid right around 52 bucks when I got this 100 ml. I don't know what prices are now. I just go off of what I paid for these when it comes to cheapies. And I got to tell you, this is a great fragrance. This is a great fragrance. It is on the more synthetic side. So if you're looking for a natural smell, this is not the fragrance for you. But if you just want a real powerful aquatic that's probably going to pull in a few compliments for you here and there, you might want to consider this because in my opinion, it is the best version of Chrome because it does tie into the original's DNA, which is very important to me with flankers. I need to be able to pick up the original's DNA with and then be able to appreciate the twist. And that's basically what you get here. This is the Chrome Flanker, in my opinion, and the one I would have to keep. Cesaro Chrome Extreme. This one still continues to surprise me because I just, I never liked the original. It was my dad's fragrance the last few years of his life. God rest his soul. It was what he wore. Calvin Klein Eternity Eau de Toilette. That and Obsession. That was his daytime fragrance and Obsession was his evening fragrance. But the Cologne Flanker to Eternity continues to impress me. It does smell aromatic and earthy green like the original, that kind of fougerish, barbershop esque feel. The Ambroxan here is what changes it. It adds that freshness, the modern twist to it that appeals to me more. Look, I love aromatic fougeres. I love classic barbershop fragrances. Just something about that one. I don't know if it's just like I don't want to smell like my dad or what, but I, I like the Eau de Parfum a lot. I think it's far superior to the Eau de Toilette, but for me, the one that was made for me, is Eternity Cologne. It's straight up $21 fragrance. And it is so good. I've been raving about this one since the moment I blind bought it and got it in in the haul. I love this fragrance. I encourage more of you to try this one. This is an underrated, underappreciated, bona fide, super cheapy, super cheapy, 
six, seven hour range again, like a lot of these are for me in longevity. Average, maybe slightly better. Decent projection, nothing special. Decent CI is nothing special, but smells great. Smells great, year round scent that's very enjoyable. If you like a timeless style with a modern twist, you'll like this because I absolutely adore Eternity Cologne. Now here's one of those surprises I was talking about because I, I was about to put Versace Dylan Blue here. Because I love Versace Dylan Blue. This reminds me very much of it, but spicier. And anybody familiar with my taste, I'm probably gonna lean to the spicy fragrance more. And I got it for 20 bucks recently at a rack store. And this is a great pickup. If you come across this at Ross Dress for less than 20 bucks and you trust my opinion, just buy it. Just buy it, blind buy it for 20 bucks. Fashionable Riviera. $20 Darling. This smells like spicy Dylan Blue. Not exactly like Dylan Blue, but that's the first thing it reminded me of. It continues to remind me of it. Six to eight hour longevity. Uh, you will go Nosmic to it, a lot of Embroxen. It's, like I said, very similar to Dylan Blue. A lot of the same notes. Beautiful atomizer. And there it is. A little bit of the dark, rich, ambery nuance, amber, woody feel. Citrus, Embroxen shower gel, and spices. Warm spice and still maintains a freshness. Shower gel scent, but if there's such a thing as a complex smelling shower gel scent, like a shower gel that smells like it's got a lot going on, that would be this. This beat out Versace Dylan Blue for me. Like this surprised me, even. It's probably surprising some of you that I picked this over Dylan Blue. I would take this over Dylan Blue. And Dylan Blue, cheap enough to go in this video. $50 range. Even if we got to go down to 50 ml to stay under the pricing, we could do that with Dylan Blue. 20 bucks. Just as good, in some ways better. Not too often you guys will hear me say, just blind buy the damn thing. Just buy it if you come across it. If you like blue fragrances, if you like Dylan Blue, if you have similar taste to mine, it's about as safe of a blind buy as it gets. And look, there's always that chance you still end up not liking it. I apologize if you don't because I'm encouraging you to just, just do it if you see it. Don't go out searching. It's not that serious. Don't hunt it. But if you happen to stumble across it, there's way worse $20 blind buys out there. Way worse, I promise you. But this became a lifer even over Dylan Blue. Fashionable Riviera. Now these last three, admittedly, I don't wear all that much anymore. But I still appreciate them and I can't imagine my collection without them because they're so good at what they do, starting with Coach for Men. The original Coach for Men. There was a time when I first started working at Mercedes years ago that this was my go-to for a little stretch. My, when I first started, that's where that dent came from. And admittedly, I hardly ever wear it now. But I love this fragrance. The kumquat pear combination with the suede and amberwood and Broxen Field, it's like a, a more interesting Sauvage in many ways. This is so good. So good. It has its own twists and turns and... Like I said, it doesn't smell exactly like Sauvage, but essence of Sauvage in many ways. The suede is fuzzy and a little buttery. And then the fruitiness of this is so unique because it's a pear and kumquat, kumquat combination, which is not necessarily an odd pairing, but it's not run-of-the-mill. You don't get that in all kinds of fragrances. It, it's here and there, and it's welcomed. Average performance at best. Five, six-hour fragrance if you're lucky. Spray your clothes if you need more. Uh, this is not a strong performer. Hour and a half projection and it calms down. It's an average performer at best, but it's cheap. Sub $4 price point, you can get 100 ml, 30 bucks range. You can get a 60 ml. You can get a big 200 ml for like 40 something dollars, 50 bucks. And it's a great, versatile, everyday wear. You can dress this up with a suit and tie. I have worn this with a suit and tie many times. Uh, works well with an Oxford, a t-shirt. It's just mega versatile. It's one of those Swiss Army knife fragrances that, again, reminds me of a very specific time in my adult life in the recent years, this last decade, that I can't imagine not having this bottle, specifically this bottle, too, in my collection. So I had to keep it, even if I don't wear it all that much. I had to keep it because I love it. It's Coach for Men. Another one that I think is one of the highest quality $30 blue fragrances money can buy. I don't wear it all that much. There was a stretch when I was wearing it. When I first got it, I was really into it. But I really appreciate this one for what it is. It's, it's juniper, it's greens, it's woods, it's minty freshness. It's Rochas Lone. 
this is still one of the best blue fragrances on the market, $30 to $40 range. It's absurd. It's absurd. It does not smell like a $30 to $40 fragrance. It's so much easier. I've seen it recently at $29. I paid $29. It came in a brown tester box. Literally has a tester sticker right here on the back. Doesn't matter. As long as it's got a cap, I don't care. Average, six to eight hours range. Average to above average longevity. Nothing crazy for two hours. But it's two hours is a pretty good projection. Arms reach maybe a little better early on. Very professional without being serious. Like you can absolutely wear this with a t-shirt. Like, like an athletic shirt I'm wearing right now. This is like one of the combine shirts from a few years ago from Under Armour. Totally rock it with what I'm wearing right now. Doesn't smell too serious for this. But also smells great with slacks and an Oxford. Works great for the semi-casual look. Business professional suit and tie works for that too. It's hard to beat for 30 bucks. Again, I don't wear it. I hardly ever touch it anymore. But this is another one. Like I said, these last three, I can't imagine my collection without them. So they had to be in here. If I'm only keeping 10 cheapies, whenever I, the mood strikes me, I want to be able to wear a Rocha Sloan because I still feel that it's one of the best fragrances, one of the best bang for your bucks ever. And it's, it's an all-time great blue fragrance. It really is. This is that good, Rocha Sloan. Anytime I need to be transported to mentally being on vacation, this fragrance has always done it for me. This bottle's very old. Very old. I don't think it'll ever... This fragrance will never not be. Double negative. Never not be. In this topic, we're talking about Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's. It's too good. The best $20 freshie. I mean, it's a margarita, tequila, lime, salt. Great alternative to Virgin Island water. It's not sweet and creamy like Virgin Island water. It's a margarita versus a pina colada, basically. This is a margarita. That's a pina colada. So good. So tropical, beachside, poolside, tiki bar, fruity drinks, sunscreen, board shorts, swim trunks, all of the th palm trees, boardwalks, piers. Think everything of a summer beach vacation. All of the sights, the scenes, and the smells. This is it. 20 bucks. Most rack stores are going to have it. I've never walked in a Nordstrom rack and not seen at least three or four bottles. Always pops up at Burlington, pops up at Ross Dress for Less and Marshalls and TJ Maxx all the time. It's easy to find for $20 at rack stores. Another one that I firmly believe everybody should try. Roll the dice, spend your 20 bucks and check it out. This is hard not to like. Even if it's a terrible performer on your skin, it was only 20 bucks, just respray. For being a, an eau de cologne concentration, for me, it actually performs pretty well. Four to six hour range. For a $20 eau de cologne, con sub under 5% oil concentration here, guys. There's barely any fragrance oil in here. And Tommy Bahama is known for their EDCs working. They, they usually perform better than you would anticipate. They'll surprise you. All of the ones I have surprise me. Some of them last really long. But this is good stuff. I have to have this. This will always be here. I, I saved the one constant. I saved for last. This will never not be. This ha This has a better chance of not making this topic than this does. Because I've had this longer. I've loved this longer. This bottle's from like 08. 2010 maybe. 2010, something like that. This is an old bottle and it has not spoiled. Bottles don't even look like this anymore. The font and everything. But had to be here. Tommy Bahama, Set Sail, St. Bart's. Well, that's the 10. Believe it or not, that is the 10 cheapies that if I had to get rid of all the rest and only keep 10... It's these 10. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. If you could only keep one, five, or 10, I'm going to give you those three numbers. Cheap fragrances, $50 or less range, what would they be? Be honest with yourself. Some of them may surprise you. If you really take a hard look at your collection and start putting them to the side, I surprise myself with a few of these, and you might, you might surprise yourself too. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the 10 that I would keep and you give them a spray now, you'll probably end up thanking me later because they're really good cheapies. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.